Hey, happy people. I'm Clifford Semi, the pop song professor, and welcome to my channel where we explain The Funeral by Band of Horses. The song The Funeral was released by Band of Horses in 2006. It was very confusing then, and it's still very confusing now. Just listen to these lyrics. I'm coming up only to hold you under. I'm coming up only to show you wrong. And to know you is hard, we wonder. To know you all wrong, we were, and then he goes, ooh, 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 for a while, and he goes into the other verse, and then the chorus, and the bridge, and none of these stanzas makes any sense. Really too late to call, so we wait for, morning to wake you is all we got, and to know me as hardly golden is to know me all wrong, they warn. At every occasion, I'll be ready for the funeral. At every occasion, once more, it's called the funeral. At every occasion, oh, I'm ready for the funeral. At every occasion, oh, one billion day funeral. Guys, well, for this having been such a mega popular song for like, what is 16 years, there's surprisingly little research or information out there on it. So we're gonna have to take a closer look at these lyrics. The idea of a one billion day funeral sounds like this idea of monotony and having the same day over and over again and, and having to experience something that you don't want to experience all the time and a funeral is sad. And in verse two, really too late to call, so we wait for morning to wake you is all we got. So it's late at night, it's sad, I'll wait till tomorrow to get in contact with you. And to know me is hardly golden is to know me all wrong, they warn, which means that there's more to the eye. This isn't just happy. The happiness, the goldenness may be fake. There may be something more real under the surface. He says, I'm coming up only to hold you under. I'm coming up only to show you wrong. There is something fake going on here, and he's trying to drag people down. And to know you is hard, we wonder. To know you all wrong. It's like we're not actually knowing you. It's all a mistake. Like, this isn't real. This, this knowing that you thought was such a big deal. And then in the bridge, we hear these lines, to the outside, the dead leaves lay on the lawn for they don't have trees to hang upon. Yes, if all of a sudden there's no tree, the leaves fall and die. There's no strength to this, no purpose. Confusing, right? Thankfully, there is some research on this. According to an article by ExtraChill.com, apparently Ben Bridwell, one of the band members, says that the funeral, which he says he takes most of the credit for the lyrics, was about, quote, the special occasions in his own life, such as birthdays and Christmas. He laments the pressure to impress, to pretend that you're excited, and to buy gifts. He compared the feeling he gets from these occasions to the feeling you get before attending a funeral. Basically, he's dreading it. And then according to another article, uh, Bridwell has stated that the concepts of mortality and perhaps romance also play a lesser role in the funeral. He apparently said he thinks he's added some more of his own personal story in the song. But again, he also emphasized that it's about this disdain to socialize and to pretend like you like gifts. And, and really, he, he doesn't like parties and Christmas and birthday. He feels like everything that's going on there is all fake. Now, obviously, this is a very depressing way to look at birthdays. I don't like my birthday necessarily. I'm fine with other people's. I just don't like being the center of attention. So I kind of see where he's coming from, except he is really more upset with the need to like pretend to feel excited about gifts, which like they're gifts, dude. If somebody gave you a gift you don't like, I mean, just smile and say thank you. You don't have to, like, be ecstatic about it, but, like, gifts are pretty fun normally, right? Though I will say, as you get older and you're you're an adult, all the things you want are too expensive to be given as gifts, so you tend to get things that are not as exciting. So maybe he's seen this experience of gift-getting as an older person and it doesn't live up to the hype of when he was a kid and getting gifts was just so amazing and so exciting and it wasn't hard to seem excited. You didn't have to pretend because you just were excited. And so maybe he's longing for his long lost childhood. And that lends in with the theme of mortality he was talking about, which is like this idea of like, we're all gonna die someday. As he's getting older and moving away from childhood, then maybe he's thinking more about death. Of course, that was all just wild speculation, but I mean, maybe there's something there. But this whole explanation of like disliking having to pretend to be excited makes sense with verse two, where he says, and to know me is hardly golden. This is a, a really interesting lyric, okay? I want you to look at this. And to know me is hardly golden. So like, if you really knew me, you wouldn't think I was golden and happy. And so this really helps make sense of the last lines of verse two. And to know me as hardly golden is to know me all wrong. Like, I'm not as happy as I seem. I just feel like I have to be happy for you guys. 
thanks for the crappy present. <laughs> of course, the beautiful thing about the funeral is that it doesn't just end with what he said. Because he made the lyrics so vague, any artist who does that is basically giving you permission to put your own meanings and ideas into their song. Sometimes, like in the case of people like Katy Perry, this is because they're lazy. lazy. But in the case of the funeral, there is like a deeper meaning here we can sense from what the artist is saying, but he keeps it vague enough and it's so sad and so somber that really what he's doing is communicating through the tone of the music itself and the lyrics are almost like a backdrop. And so it gives you the opportunity to really feel the lyrics rather than to analyze them. So the real answer to the question of what is the funeral all about is more, what does it feel like it's all about to you? It's a very like impressionistic, very like, I think semi postmodern piece of work here. Yeah, I, I think that this is a good song to ask yourself, how does it make me feel? And then to say, okay, I guess that's what it's about for me. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to request a song explanation down below and I will talk to you all next time. Be sure to brush your teeth.